Hey guys, my name is Caleb Carone, or Astro Carone, and today I'm giving you a rundown of my astro photography gear that I use every clear night possible. Here we go. Alright, so here is the setup, the portable setup, very portable, um, I'm going to start with the scope, the William Optics Xenostar 61 APO Refractor, 360 millimeters of vocal length, I love it, um, it fits in that nebula really good, such as the heart nebula, it fits in perfectly, um, get that outer nebulae too, it's awesome. And uh, I actually just record, or no, I just imaged the North American, and uh, I want to show you guys that at the end of the video. It's probably one of my best images, and it fit, it fit it perfect. Actually, the Pelican nebula is in there too. I didn't intend to get in there, but it's in there. But um, that's the scope I use. Um, got the little dew heater, you know, when it gets uh, frosty out there. But, um, here's the camera I use, the EOS, oops, the EOS 2000D, or the T7, the, by Canon, um, awesome little camera, uh, it's stock, challenging to use a stock camera with the filter I use, which is the L Extreme, I've been having so much fun with the L Extreme, and, um, it is just such a challenge to use a stock DSLR, especially in processing, oh my god. Don't get me started. I try my best. Trust me. I really do. But finding objects, I have to use like one minute, two minute exposures to find what I'm looking for. But um, it works works well. But I'm moving on to a uh, dedicated astronomy camera very soon. Anyway, here's the flattener. The field flattener. The flat 61. Um, it did not come with the scope. I had to buy it individually. It cost about 200 bucks. Um... Kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. Does the job. Can't complain. Let's move on to the Red Dot Finder. I don't have a go-to, so this is my lord and savior. The Red Dot Finder. This is how I find my objects in the line. And it, it uh, does, does me well. It helps me out. Um, sometimes I leave it on after, like, after imaging. Kind of kills the battery, but I've learned to double check that. But um, yeah. I'll put the link in the description for it. I'll try to find it again. But um, actually, yeah, I think it's by William Optics. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, speaking of Star Trekers and go-to's, let's freaking let's go to the Star Trekker here. The Skywatcher Star Adventure. Awesome little uh, tracker. Grab and go, portable little thing, fit in your backpack, camera bag. Um, it does well. Um, it's got a polar scope, so you can polar align. Um, I don't think it comes with the little illumination, illumination, the red illumination thing. Little light. I think I have to buy one, but um, they're really, really cheap. But um, yeah, it's portable. I love it. To take it out. One of those surprising clear skies, like. When it says it's cloudy, but it's like, oh, it's clear. You just take it, grab and go, polar line, boom. Um, in the beginning, it took me like 10 minutes to polar line. Now it takes me like a minute or two. Pretty easy now. But, um, yeah. It's not a big setup at all. Very small little setup, guys. Nothing much to talk about. All I can say, it's portable. Um, I love it. I'm going to be using it for a while. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I'm going to share my North American at the end of this video. Um, it is probably one of my best images of 2020. I'm so happy with it. Um, thank you to Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard for retweeting 
that photo on his Twitter that meant a lot. Um, thank you, man. Appreciate that. If you watch this or see this, whatever, appreciate it. Um, anyway, guys, clear skies, and I hope you guys get into this hobby. It's a crazy hobby. It's expensive, I know, but it's such a beautiful hobby, man. Like, it's awesome. And I appreciate you guys watching this. And if you guys want to follow the Instagram, it's Instagram.com slash Astro Corone. Check it out. Um, I should have more videos in the future. Or I will have more video videos in the future. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Clear skies. And see you later.